When installing asphalt shingles, you should always ensure that the roof slope meets the minimum requirements for the installation. In this video, we'll take you through the required minimum slope for installing asphalt shingles. We'll explain the difference between sloped and flat roofs, and we'll show you how to calculate the slope of any roof. Let's jog your memory here. Think back to high school math when you would plot points on a graph and look into finding the slope of the line. It's the exact same equation of rise over run. We take the rise of the roof, the angle at which the roof climbs, and assemble it as a ratio over the run, or how long it stretches to the right or left. Traditionally, residential roofs had four or more inches of rise for every 12 inches of run, with low slope roofs having a rise of between two to four inches, and anything under two inches being classified as a flat roof. This means that 212 is the absolute minimum slope for asphalt shingle installation. Now we know what you're thinking. Why 212? Why does the pitch of my roof matter anyway? Well, it's an amazing architectural design feature that helps shed water. See, the higher the pitch of a roof, the faster that moisture will run down it, and the less likely rain, snow, ice, or debris will collect on it, thus preventing a leak. Alternatively, flat roofs must use special membranes or commercial roofing systems that resist moisture penetration that can occur with pooling water. That's not to say that if you have a flat roof, you stand no chance of enjoying a leak-free home. It's just that flat roofs require a completely different installation process and materials to keep moisture out. Some types of shingles require higher sloped roofs to perform in all weather. Always confirm your shingles installation requirements with the manufacturer. So, you've learned about all the reasons why a sloped roof is ideal to help brave the elements. Now, we'll teach you how to measure the slope of any roof. If you're a smartphone user, there are several apps available that can determine pitch, measure roof surface, and assist with project estimates. Technology is constantly evolving, so we're always tracking industry trends to discover software that can best suit your needs. CompanyCam, AppliCAD, or Hover are three innovative products that are making waves today. Not comfortable in the digital space? No problem. Let's walk through the process of measuring slope using nothing more than a tape measure. Take your measuring tape to your eave's edge, positioning it as close to the wall as you can go. Measure out 12 inches exactly. This will be the run of your slope. Next, take that point at the 12 inch mark and measure up vertically to the roof. This is your rise. Arrange into a rise over run ratio and you've successfully measured your roof slope. Additionally, always remember that the minimum slope where asphalt shingles can still be installed is 212. We hope this video has been helpful to you. If you're looking to learn more from the experts at ICO, please like this page and follow us for more great content.